The medical community is constantly working on new treatments and developments. One of the most groundbreaking is stem cell therapy. I'm here with uh, Dr. Joanne Halbrecht, a Boulder uh, orthopedic surgeon, and it's very interesting. There are a lot of common misperceptions about stem cells. Yes, there are. When I talk to my patients about what they know about stem cells and stem cell therapy, it's not uncommon for them to say that stem cells come from embryos. Mm -hmm. They need to go to a foreign country to have stem cell therapy done, and that stem cells work by different However, in the United States, we don't use embryonic stem cells, and we actually don't want to use it, particularly for orthopedics, because it's good for forming tissue like heart and uh, lung and brain. We don't need that in orthopedics. In addition, many of the commercially available kits for processing stem cells are FDA compliant, so we don't need to go to a foreign country. Mm -hmm. And with regard to stem cells differentiating, in the lab, we can expose them to different chemicals, and they can differentiate into cartilage, ligament, tendon. However, in the body, stem cells do not differentiate. They actually act like little drug stores. Oh, so they're gosh. attracted to areas of inflammation or mm -hmm. injury, and so stem cells cells are anti-inflammatory, more powerful than a steroid injection. Wow. They inhibit scar tissue formation. They promote blood flow to the area to increase healing, and they can also stimulate dormant stem cells in tissue to grow and proliferate. So it, when you talk about in, in orthopedics, what specific uh, conditions do you treat then with stem cells? So I use stem cells for arthritis, for okay. rotator cuff tears, for meniscus tears, for chronic tendonitis, and for partial ligament and tendon tears. Now what about studies? Everybody says, well, does this, does this, does this really work? Yes. Is there any research supporting yes, any of this? Yes, there are several studies. There's one for, there's a few for arthritis which show that with a single stem cell injection, at about two years out, 75% of the patients still have pain relief from that single stem cell injection. There's also a a meniscus tear study where people were operated on for a tear in the meniscus and stem cells were shown to regenerate meniscus tissue and for me the most impressive study is a rotator cuff study where they took people with rotator cuff tears injected stem cells and followed them for 10 years and found that those who had stem cell injection at the time of repair had an 87 percent success rate whereas those who did not have the stem cell injection only had a 44 percent oh success my goodness. rate yeah. okay I, I heard of someone who had stem cells taken from their hip bone, yes. which sounded really awful. Yeah. Uh, what's the difference between uh, stem cells coming from there and where you get them, which is fat cells? Yes, so we can get stem cells from bone marrow or fat. The problem with bone marrow is the number of stem cells sharply declines with age, and studies have shown that it's dose dependent, so the more stem cells, the better the response. And so the number of stem cells in fat stays fairly constant with age. And we also have plenty of fat to work with. Yeah, a lot of people want, they do. don't mind donating. Yeah, some they fat, don't mind yes. donating some of that. So, uh, how do you uh, how do you harvest them? How do you get them? So I do it in the office under a local procedure. Mm -hmm. So we anesthetize the abdomen. I inject some medication that's saline and lidocaine. The saline helps break up the fat and the lidocaine numbs the abdomen. Most of the patients say it feels weird. Yeah. And then I, sit, I put a special instrument under the skin and attach it to a syringe that's locked open and it sucks the fat out. And then we transfer it to a system that purifies the fat. And then you do, and it's all in the office. Yes. If if someone were to say a do a knee or a rotator cup, about how long would they be in the office? About an hour. About an hour mm -hmm. for the whole yes. thing. So hope for folks who have arthritis, like me, Amelia. Gosh, I, what an informative segment there.